Mobile gaming has come a very long way in a short matter of time, and this product is a perfect indication of just that. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Nvidia Shield. So at CES this year, Nvidia announced a new gaming console, a mobile gaming console powered by Android. And we've got one right here, it is called the Nvidia Shield, and it just arrived, so let's get this thing out of the box. We haven't even opened the shipping box yet, so let's do that first. Um, this thing is the first device powered by the Tegra 4 processor, which was also announced at the CES press event. And let's just say, before we get this thing out of the box, it's heavy. The shipping weight for this was almost four pounds, I believe. So it's uh, it's definitely bulky, big, but it is also very high powered. Um, take Android gaming to the next level. On the side here, you've got your Google Play, so it has access to Google Play. It comes with an almost stock version of Android. And uh, this is just some information. You've got your, uh, your specifications down here. It has a five inch 720p display, 16 gigabytes of fixed storage. It has two gigs of RAM, and of course the uh, the Tegra 4 chipset. Um, it has, you know, integrated speakers and everything, and I'm not even sure how to get into this box. There's some tape, so let's cut that. This is a very, very high quality box. It's solid, and I imagine the, uh, the device is too. Let's see if we can get this thing off and get in here and look at it. Maybe. This is uh, not easy. All right, so now that we have that off, you can uh, just lift up and you can just uh, see what's inside. We've got your AC adapter and your micro USB cable, nothing major. Some reading materials, which includes uh, just some papers. We'll get to that later. You don't need to know about all of that, I don't guess. And the device. Um, I think I opened the box upside down. I did, because there is the NVIDIA logo, so uh, or the Shield logo. So I got this upside down, but that's all there is in the box. It, yeah, it has instructions. It says open that way. Um, here is the device. We have to cut this off. A lot of cutting. If I didn't have this knife, I'd be out of luck. This is the device. It feels, in the hand, it almost feels actually like a, a 360 controller, which I'm sure other people have said that, but um, we can get this plastic off. I'm gonna move it to the mic. Yeah, we got a good good tear sound. I think that is the first unboxing that I've got a, a nice positive feedback from the plastic. But the device is very chunky, bulky, and uh, it's heavy. It feels really sturdy, though. On the back, we've got a few, you know, your FCC branding and everything for your IDs, and it is powered by NVIDIA Tegra. We've got another NVIDIA logo and shield, and this is what we've been waiting for. Just pop it right open. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it, it does, it feels like a 360 controller except for your joysticks are uh, in the middle instead of having the alternated joystick and the D-pad the below your left thumb. But uh, this has got something on it, but it says push the NVIDIA button, so as this powers up, you've got your standard X, Y, B, A uh, button configuration, a play, pause button, volume, back home for your menus and for your navigation on Android, the joysticks, D-pad, and that is your multifunction NVIDIA button. So there's not a lot to see here. It's just uh, standard game controller, your triggers and your bumpers. And if we get in right here on this, you've got an, an HDMI port out that is a micro SD card slot, uh, micro USB, and your headphone jack. So not a lot going on there in the hardware, but uh, this is uh, definitely something we've been looking forward to seeing and uh, playing with. So we're not going to go through the whole setup process here, but this is the 5-inch 720p display. It seems at least relatively clear and crisp from... From here, um, this has been the unboxing of the NVIDIA Shield. Stay tuned to Pocket Now for the next over the next week to see more content, maybe some comparisons, definitely a review, and uh, other content. So stay tuned to Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.